What is up guys, that's Vaughn82 and I am back with a brand new video. In my hand, I hold my very first graded comic card. What grading service did I go with and what card did I choose? You'll have to stick around to find out. Okay guys, glad you were back. Like I said before, I hold in my hand my very first graded comic book card. Um, recently I got to thinking along with collecting graded comic books that I would like to collect some graded comic cards as well because when I was a kid, along with collecting the comic books, or actually even more so, me and my friends enjoyed collecting the comic cards, particularly the Marvel Universe series one through three. And I have just the most amazing, fond, fondest memories of me and my friends in the street, in the neighborhood street, trading the cards or making bets, like trick shot bets on the basketball court for certain cards. And um, so those, those particular comic cards really, really hold a great deal of nostalgia for me. And um, in deciding I wanted to get a graded card and and make that leap into that that world, I then had a whole other set of questions because uh, the grading services aren't exactly the same as they are um, in the comic book world where CGC and CBS, CBCS rule the, rule the roost. Uh, it's not like that in the comic card world. In the comic card world, you've got PSA and you've got Beckett and that they're the top dogs. And then you've got CGC, which is the new guy in town. And you've got some other smaller ones that do custom labels and things like that. And um, so, but the more I researched, I really, I really, really like Beckett's cases. And I like the subgrades on the case. And I'll, sh I'll put that up on the screen, uh, the Beckett case, because I want you guys to see how it has the subgrades and everything on it. I thought that that was really neat. But overall, I decided for my first comic card that I wanted to go with a PSA because the more I read and the more I researched, they seem to be the most reputable and the seem to retain the most value overall. So um, I wanted to go with PSA. So I hold a PSA card in my hand and I want to show you guys which one I got and I'll clip to, uh, I'll, I'll go to a, a close-up shot of this so we can get a closer look. Okay, I wanted to do it like this, that way I could show you guys a little bit closer up and in depth. But my very first graded comic card, it is a Mint 9 and it's Dazzler. And this would be Marvel Universe Series 1 and I believe that this would technically be Dazzler's rookie card, um, if if we're throwing that term out there in the comic card world. I, I do think this is the first card that she appeared on. And um, anybody that knows me knows that I am a huge collector of Dazzler and a big Dazzler fan. Um, but just looking at this card though, so much nostalgia. I love this set. And uh, these PSA, Cases are really cool. I definitely like it. It presents really, really well. Just a nice looking case. Um, not too, not too thick, but thick enough to where it looks nice. It looks sturdy. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy. It's it. It feels good. But I'm very happy with this. I actually got a good deal on this. If you guys aren't checking out Macari for your uh, deals, you need to because I've. I get stuff, cool stuff all the time. I got this for uh, what I pay. I think I offered him 13 and he ended up accepting. So I paid 13 bucks for this graded nine. I think you pay more than that to have it graded. So um, really good score that I got off of Macari. But uh, I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. I do appreciate you checking out the video of my first graded card. I'm super happy with this. And um, please like, Please subscribe and until next time, peace.